it might be time to start putting to work on your pile of shame because it may be harder to buy more Warhammer in the near future. Negotiations between the International Longshoremen's Association and their employer, the United States Maritime Alliance, have broken down. The union, which represents 45,000 port workers, has decided to go on strike, which is their first major strike in nearly 50 years. And although manufacturers and dock workers hope that the strike will end quickly, this may impact your ability to buy Warhammer. Here's how. Warhammer is manufactured and designed in Nottingham, England. From there, it's shipped overseas to the United States on the eastern seaboard, specifically to their largest distribution center in Memphis, Tennessee. This distribution center is responsible for handing out the Warhammer imports from Great Britain. Games Workshop operates 185 stores across North America, and a significant amount of their Warhammer models and other products are imported from the UK. Normally, shipments from the UK arrive at these ports on the East Coast, but with the dock worker strikes, that supply chain could be severely delayed. Now, Games Workshop's distribution hub in Memphis, Tennessee, services all of North America. If imports from the United Kingdom get held up, the Memphis hub could struggle to keep up with demand. This could mean fewer models available in stores or online, especially if the strike drags on. According to their last annual report published in July of 2024, Games Workshop produces about 216.6 million Great British Pounds within Warhammer sales in the United States. That comes out to about $287.8 million in United States dollars. So... With U.S. stores being such a major part of their operation, any stock delays could have a pretty big impact on their bottom line. It's also not going to impact them. It's going to impact your ability to buy new models and potentially on how quickly new releases and restocks can reach our local stores. So if you're planning to pick up a new Warhammer kit or eyeing some models for your army, I'd recommend acting sooner rather than later. Delays could stretch for weeks, depending on how long the strikes last. Here's something a little scary. Sales in the United States actually increased about 10% compared to last year. So that's a growth of about 45.1 million pounds, or uh, fifty, just under 60 million. Hang on. Oh, I did my Yankee Doodle math wrong. No, wait. No, I did. I did it right. Yeah. Or about $60 million uh, US. So uh, depending on how long the strikes could last, this could hurt their bottom line and growth fairly significantly. Let's hope for a quick resolution to the strike. In the meanwhile, stay prepared for possible delays in Warhammer model availability. This would also make a good time to finally get to work on your pile of shame. If you like what you heard here, please feel free to like and subscribe. I appreciate any insight. Hey, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.